good day. How are you? I'm glad to know you're fine. I'm fine as well. I will be your teacher today, and you can call me Teacher Fina. Before we will begin our lesson, I want you to prepare the things that you need, such as your worksheet, your notebook and pen, and your water. I will give you one minute to prepare yourself and the things that you need. Ready? Timer starts now. Let's start today's class with a prayer. Please bow your head and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, creator of all things, we thank you, O oh Lord, for such a wonderful day. We ask for your heavenly knowledge, O oh Lord, as we will study our lesson today. Guide us, dear Father, protect us from all matters of harm and danger. Thank you so much, dear God, for hearing and answering our prayers. Forgive us from our sins. All these things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to stay focused as we go on with our lesson. Please, don't do any sorry things while our class is still going. And I will be giving you a three-minute pee break in between our class time. So I want you to listen carefully, okay? At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Describe the characteristics of homogeneous mixture Identify mixtures that are homogeneous Differentiate solute and solvent And explain the importance of mixtures in our day-to-day -day activity What's this? That's right! It's our all-time favorite dessert, fruit salad. Do you know how to sing the song fruit salad? Don't worry, our friends from Little Kids Channel will help us out. So I want you to stand up, sing, and do the action of the song. Ready? All among you here has eaten fruit salad. Wow, me too! Why do you love to eat fruit salad? Yes, that's right. Fruit salad is very delicious and nutritious too. It has a lot of fruits added. That's why it's so nutritious. Have you tried preparing it? Wow, really you have. How do you prepare it? Yes, we just need to slice all the fruits put the milk, and then mix them all together, and then you can make a fruit salad. Before going to our main lesson, we will unlock first some of the difficult words that we will be using along in our discussion. Let's read the words first, okay? We have nine words to unlock, and the first one is characteristics. Can you say it with me? characteristics great job the second word is substance can you say it again substance substance good next is appearance say it louder appearance 
One more time. Appearance. Then there is distribution. Can you say it again? Distribution. Distribution. How about the next one? We have separate. Can you say it again? Separate. What's the word? Separate. Next is dissolve. One more time, say dissolve. Dissolve. Yes, that's right. Next is combination. What's the word? Combination. Again, combination. Perfect. Next is uniform. Say it louder. Uniform. Again, uniform. And lastly, we have mixture. Can you say it with me? Mixture. Again, mixture. Mixture. Perfect. So, what do those words mean? We will use those words in sentences and you will unlock what they mean. I will give you 10 seconds to guess the correct meaning of the underlined word. We will read the sentences and the choices first. Let's begin with the first one. Being friendly is one of the characteristics of one's cat that I like most. What do you think is the meaning of the underlined word characteristics? Is it an identifiable trait of someone or something? Or what something looks like? Your 10 seconds starts now. That's right, your answer is correct. The answer is letter A. It is an identifiable trait of someone or something. The second sentence is, salt is a substance that makes our food tasty. The underlined word is substance. What do you think does it mean? Is it what something looks like or Anything with specific composition and properties. Your 10 seconds starts now. Yes, you're right again. The answer is letter B. It's anything with specific composition and The third one is, applying bright colored paint can improve the appearance of a classroom. The underlined word is appearance. Based on the sentence, what does the word appearance mean? Is it what something looks like or to take away one substance from the other? Your 10 seconds starts now. That's right. It's letter A. It is what something looks like. Distribution of goods in every household. What does the underlined word distribution mean? Is it the way in which something is shared out or spread over an area? Or to take away one substance from the other. Your 10 seconds starts now. Great! It's letter A. It is the way in which something is shared out or spread over an area. 
The fifth one is she separated the pineapple from the fruit salad by picking. The underlined word is separated. What do you think does it mean? Is it to take away one substance from the other or the act of becoming one? Yes, the answer is letter A, to take away one substance from the other. Next is, coffee powder dissolves in hot water. What is the meaning of the underlined word dissolves? Is it the act of becoming one or to disappear? You have 10 seconds to guess the correct answer. Yes, the answer is letter B. It is to disappear. Water is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen. The underlined word is combination. What does it mean? Is it something formed by combining or to fade away? Your 10 seconds starts now. That's right! The answer is letter A. It is something formed by combining. Next is, water has a uniform appearance. What is the meaning of the underlined word uniform? Is it the same form with others or to fade away? You have 10 seconds to guess the correct answer. Great! It's letter A. The same form with others. Then we have the last one. Fruit solid is a mixture of fruits. The underlined word is mixture. What does it mean? Is it combination or separation? Your 10 seconds starts now. Bravo! It's combination. Let's read all the words again. We have characteristics, substance, appearance, distribution, separate, dissolve, combination, uniform, and mixture. It's game time! We will play four picks, one word. I will give you four pictures and you will guess what they're all about in just one word. You have 10 seconds to guess the correct answer. Ready? Let's start with the first one. We have here a cross sign, a hand washing, a green with a cross bottle, and someone spraying. So, what do you think is the word that best describes the pictures? The word has seven letters. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time's up. Let's see if your answer is right. This one is an alcohol. You're right! Bravo! <laughs> How about the next one? There is a pancit, a spaghetti, a pasta, and a boy eating a spaghetti. Now, let's describe the pictures in just one word. The word here also has seven letters. 
Your 10 seconds starts now. Time's up! The answer is noodles. You got it right. Well done. <laughs> Lastly, we have here a picture of an orange flavored drink with orange fruit in a wine glass. A picture of a lemon flavored drink with lemon fruit in a glass. A picture of an orange flavored drink in a glass. And a picture of a woman drinking. What word best describes the pictures? For this group, the word has five letters. What do you think is it? Your 10 seconds starts now. Time's up! You answered it correctly. You are outstanding! Yeah. Yeah. Do you have alcohol, noodles, and juice at home? What do you think are they? Are they like fruit salad that has different ingredients? What are they called? Yes, they are mixtures. Let's try to mix sugar and water. What do you think will happen? First, we need to fill an empty glass with water. Then, Slowly add sugar. Stir it well until mixed. What did we just make? Is this a mixture? What are mixtures? Mixtures are composed of two or more substances mixed together physically. We use two substances, water and sugar, to make a mixture. Physically means that sugar is still a sugar even after being mixed with water, while water is still a water as well. Mixtures may be in the form of a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Solid, like steel and medicine. Liquid, like milk, juice, sea water, and alcohol. And gas, like the air. Look at these mixtures. What do you think of them? How would you describe their appearances? Sugar-water mixture appears to have only one face. It looks the same all throughout. We cannot identify the substances mixed to make it. While in the fruit salad, the ingredients added can be identified easily. Mixtures can be classified as homogeneous or heterogeneous. Which do you think is the example of a homogeneous mixture? And which is the heterogeneous mixture? What is a homogeneous mixture? This week, we will be focusing on homogeneous mixture, its characteristics, and its importance in our day-to-day -day activities. Homogeneous comes from the word homo, which means the same. That's why it is also known as uniform mixture. Homogeneous mixture has its own characteristics. We will be learning four characteristics of a homogeneous mixture. Let's start with the first one. It appears as a single substance. Does this mixture appear as a single substance? Yes, it does. Why do you think so? We can
can only see a uniform appearance. That's why it appears as a single substance. How about the fruit solid? Does it appear as a single substance? No, it doesn't. Because we can see different fruits mixed in it. How about the Caesar? Does it appear as a single substance? Yes, it does. The Caesar and the sugar water mixtures both appear as single substances. The second characteristics of a homogeneous mixture, substances mixed cannot be identified easily by the naked eye. In the sugar water mixture, can you tell where the sugar is? How about the water? We cannot identify where the sugar or the water is in the mixture. While in the fruit solid sample, we can easily tell where the fruits are. We can easily identify the fruits added, such as the watermelon, the pineapple, or the banana. We can identify them one by one. A Caesar is made up of iron ore and carbon, but when we look at it closely, we cannot identify one from the other. Why can we not identify the substances mixed? Because there is an equal distribution of the sugar and the water as illustrated by the red and yellow circles. The same goes with the Caesar. All the ingredients added are distributed equally in the mixture. Look at this picture. What do you think is it? Yes, it's a vinegar. What do you think about the vinegar? Is there an equal distribution of the substances in this mixture? Why do you think so? Yes, there is. Because we cannot tell where the acetic acid is from the water. The third characteristic of a homogeneous mixture is that the whole mixture is in the same phase. It may be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. We may mix a solid and a liquid substance, but the mixture should result into only one phase like the sugar water sample. Sugar is in a solid form while well, the water is in a liquid form. But when they are mixed together, the mixture is only in a liquid form. How about the vinegar? What is its form? Yes, it's in a liquid form. How about the Caesar? That's right, it's in a solid form. How about the air? Yes. It's in a gas form. Can you give me another example? Now the last characteristic of a homogeneous mixture is that substances mixed cannot be separated easily. We can't use hand picking to separate the sugar from the water. That's so impossible. The same goes with the vinegar, the Caesar, and the air. But, in the fruit solid mixture, we can easily handpick the fruits and separate them, right? So, which of them is a homogeneous mixture? Is it the sugar water or the fruit solid? Yes, the sugar water mixture is an example of a homogeneous mixture while the fruit solid is a heterogeneous mixture. Look at these pictures. Let's identify whether they are homogeneous or not. Let's start with the first set of pictures. We have here alcohol, juice, and seawater. What 
have you observed in them? Are they homogeneous mixtures? Why do you think so? What characteristics of homogeneous mixtures are present in them? Let's find out. Do they appear as single substances? Let's look closely. The alcohol has a uniform appearance. So are the juice and seawater. So the mixtures have this characteristic. Do we not identify the substances mixed? Alcohol is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Can we identify the substances mixed in the alcohol? No, we can't. How about the juice? Can we identify the juice powder from the water? We still can't. So is the seawater. We can't see where the salt or the water is. In other words, the mixtures have this characteristic. Do they have one face? Alcohol has one face. It's in a liquid form. Even though its substances are in a solid and a gas form, juice and seawater both have substances in solid and in a liquid form. But the mixture is in a liquid form. Lastly, can they not be separated easily? Can you separate oxygen in alcohol by hand picking? No, you can't. That's so impossible. How about the water in the juice and seawater mixture? You still can't separate them by hand picking. So, the substances in the mixtures cannot be separated easily. All characteristics of a homogeneous mixture are present in the alcohol, in the juice, and in the seawater samples. Therefore, they are homogeneous mixtures. How about the juice with lemon fruit and noodles? Are they also homogeneous mixtures? Why do you think so? What characteristics of a homogeneous mixture are present in them? Let's find out. Do they appear as single substances? Let's look at the juice with lemon fruit first. Does it have a uniform appearance? No, it doesn't. How about the noodles? Does it have a uniform appearance? Still not. Both mixtures don't have a uniform appearance. Therefore, they don't have this characteristic. Let's see if they have the second characteristic. Can we not identify the substances mixed? Let's start with the juice. Can you tell where the lemon fruit is from the juice? Yes, we can. You can easily identify the fruit from the juice. How about the noodles? Can you easily tell where the ingredients in the noodles are? Yes, we can. Therefore, the mixtures don't have this characteristic. Do they have one face? The noodle is a combination of a liquid and a solid face. So is the juice. Therefore, they don't have one face. Can they not be separated easily? Can we handpick the ingredients in the noodles? Yes, we can. We can easily handpick them. How about in the juice? We can also easily separate the fruit in the mixture by handpicking. There are no characteristics of a homogeneous mixture present in the two mixtures. Therefore, they are not homogeneous mixtures. 
if you have noticed, we use two examples of juice. One is considered homogeneous, while the other one is heterogeneous. Why do you think so? Why are they different when they are both juices? Let's differentiate the two mixtures. The first one has a uniform appearance. We cannot identify where the juice powder and the water are. While on the other one, a lemon was added. We can identify the lemon from the juice. That's why that was not a homogeneous mixture, as its appearance was not uniform, unlike the first one. Homogeneous mixtures are also referred as solutions. It is composed of a solute and a solvent. What is a solute? What is a solvent? Let's try to make a juice. To make a juice, we need to fill an empty pitcher with a liter of water. Add the juice powder. and stir it well until a mixture is formed. What happened to the juice? Yes! It was dissolved. A dissolved substance is called a solute, while a substance that dissolved the solute is called a solvent, in this case, the water. Let's study another example. What should you do when riding a bicycle? You should wear a helmet to protect your head and knee pads to protect your knees. What is a bicycle made of? It's made of steel. We get steel when we mix carbon and iron ore. Iron ore is the solute, while carbon is the solvent. Can you imagine the world without mixtures? In 2018, Sint conducted a survey about the consumption of beverages in the Philippines. During the survey, 70.25% of Filipinos stated they drink coffee regularly. 53.73% of them drink juice. 50.56% drink bottled water steel. 49.54% are soda drinkers, while 29.42% drink tea. Imagine life without mixtures. We can't mix anything. We can cook our favorite dishes and drink our favorite beverages. We won't have a concrete house to live or a classroom to have classes with. We won't be able to experience riding a bicycle, a motorcycle, or even a car. Life is so difficult without mixtures. So, what did we learn today? What are the characteristics of a homogeneous mixture? That's right! Homogeneous mixtures appear as single substances, meaning they have a uniform appearance. The substances mixed cannot be identified easily by the naked eye because they are evenly distributed in the mixture. The whole mixture has only one face, and it could be a solid, a liquid, 
or a gas. We cannot easily separate the substances by hand picking. So, how did you know that a mixture is homogeneous or not? Mm -hmm. When all the characteristics that we have mentioned earlier are present in the mixture, therefore, that mixture is a homogeneous. And when all of the characteristics are not present, so that mixture is not a homogeneous. Why are mixtures important? Mixtures are important because we use them every day. We can't live life without them. Can you remember? I told you earlier that most of the people anywhere drink coffee, tea, or juice. Those drinks are made because of mixture. So without mixture, we can drink them.